My name is Taylor, but ever since I met Penny, she's called me Tiffany. At first, it was just a nickname, something cute and playful. But over time, it became more than just a name, it became my identity. I never imagined myself as someone who would willingly wear dresses, skirts, and makeup, but Penny had a way of convincing me. She saw something in me that I didn't see in myself, and she brought it out in the most unexpected ways. It started innocently enough, with Penny suggesting I try on one of her dresses for fun. But soon, it became a regular occurrence. I found myself spending more time in front of the mirror, perfecting my makeup and styling my hair in feminine ways. Then came the day Penny surprised me with a breast surgery. I was shocked and unsure at first, but Penny reassured me that it was what she wanted, what she needed. She said my chest was too flat and that she would look for a new partner if I didn't agree to get implants. So, against all my doubts and fears, I went through with it. And when I saw myself in the mirror after the surgery, I couldn't believe the transformation. I felt like a completely different person, like Tiffany was finally becoming who she was. Meant to be. Penny was ecstatic with the results, always making sure I showed off some cleavage whenever we went out. She even gave my new breasts playful names and would use them in public, drawing attention to them and delighting in the stares of other men. At first, I was self-conscious and embarrassed, but as time went on, I began to embrace my new identity fully. I realized that being Tiffany wasn't just about wearing dresses and makeup, it was about being confident in who I was and living my truth, even if it meant defying society's expectations. And as I walked hand in hand with Penny, feeling the warmth of her love and acceptance, I knew that I had found my place in the world, as Tiffany, her sissy wife, forever devoted to making her happy. As Penny's confidence in our unconventional relationship grew, so did her desire to explore new boundaries. She began bringing home what she called alpha males, men she deemed worthy of her attention and mine. Each time she introduced me to them as Tiffany, her sissy wife, I felt a mix of excitement and nervousness. Penny didn't hesitate to share the details of my breast enlargement with these men, explaining how she had convinced me to undergo the surgery to please her. At first, I was apprehensive about their reactions, but Penny's confidence was infectious, and soon I found myself oddly intrigued by their curiosity. It was strange, feeling their eyes on me, knowing they were examining my body, but there was also a sense of empowerment in it. Penny would encourage them to touch my breasts, letting them feel the silicone implants beneath the fabric of my dress. And as they did, I couldn't help but be aroused by the attention, by the sensation of their hands on my newly enhanced chest. In those moments, I felt more like a woman than ever before, embraced by Penny's love and desired by these alpha males. It was a thrilling and intoxicating experience, one that challenged my notions of masculinity and femininity, blurring the lines between the two until they became indistinguishable. And as I surrendered myself to Penny's whims and the desires of her chosen men, I realized that being Tiffany wasn't just about wearing dresses and makeup, it was about embracing my femininity in all its forms, even the one society deemed taboo. And in doing so, I found a sense of liberation and fulfillment that I had never known before. As our relationship with Penny's chosen alpha males deepened, we began to explore new territories, pushing the boundaries of our unconventional dynamic. Even further. It was during one of these explorations that we met James, a confident and assertive man who intrigued both Penny and me. Unlike the others, James wasn't just interested in me as Tiffany, he was drawn to both sides of me, recognizing the complexities of my identity. He didn't see me as just a sissy wife or a feminine plaything but as a person with desires and needs of my own. With James, our relationship took on a new dimension, one that challenged traditional notions of love and intimacy. He became a common boyfriend to both Tiffany and Penny, blurring the lines between us until we were all intertwined in a web of passion and desire. At first, I was hesitant, unsure of how to navigate this newfound dynamic. 
but as James embraced both sides of me, I began to embrace them. 2. Finding pleasure and fulfillment in ways I had never imagined. Together, the three of us explored our deepest fantasies, pushing the limits of pleasure and pain until we reached new heights of ecstasy. And in those moments of intimacy, I felt more whole and complete than ever before, embraced by the love of both Tiffany and Penny, and James, our shared lover. It was a relationship built on trust, communication, and mutual respect, one that challenged societal norms and expectations at every turn. But in the end, it was worth it, for it brought us closer together and allowed us to truly be ourselves, unapologetically and without shame.